Hello students, this video deals with the digestion in small intestine. Small intestine is the most important part of digestive system of man. It's the longest part and it consists of three parts. These parts are duodenum, jejunum, and ileum. Repeat after me. Duodenum, jejunum, and ileum. Duodenum is about 20 to 25 centimeter long which leads into jejunum and then ileum. When chyme passes from stomach into duodenum, its acidity stimulates the release of secretions from pancreas, liver, and duodenal cells. Now let's see the role of pancreas. This is the leaf life structure called pancreas and it's beneath the stomach. The pancreas is a large gland and it produces juices that flows through pancreatic duct into the duodenum. The pancreatic juice contains the enzymes that digest all principal components of food that is carbohydrates, fats and proteins. These are the enzymes secreted by pancreas, pancreatic amylase, lipase and trypsin. Pancreatic amylase is a carbohydrate digesting enzyme and it is also known as amylopsin. It digests starch into maltose. Lipase, as the name indicates, fat digesting enzyme and it hydrolyzes a small percentage of fats into fatty acids and glycerol. And trypsin, it converts proteins to peptones and polypeptides. Students, trypsin is also secreted as an inactivated trypsinogen. It is activated by enterokinase, an enzyme secreted by the lining of duodenum. Students, the pancreatic juice also contains sodium bicarbonate. It partly neutralizes the chyme which is coming from the stomach, so it is acidic. Pancreatic juices and the enzymes, they do not work well in acidic conditions. So that is why pancreatic juice contains sodium bicarbonate. Now let's see the role of liver. This is the liver and it's a gland inside the liver called gallbladder which produces bile. The liver secretes bile which may be temporarily stored in the gallbladder and released into the duodenum through the bile duct. The bile is green water fluid. It contains no enzymes. But its green color is due to the bile pigments which are formed from the breakdown of hemoglobin in the liver. The bile also contains bile salts which acts on fats and emulsifies them. They are easily digested by water soluble lipase. Now let's see the digestion in jejunum and ileum. Jejunum is the second portion of the small intestine extending from duodenum to ileum. It is about 2.4 meter long. The lower three-fifths of the small intestine from jejunum is the ileum. Now students, the food which escapes undigested from the duodenum is completely digested in jejunum and ileum by a group of enzymes contained in the intestinal juice. These enzymes are aminopeptidase, trypsin, lipase, maltase, and lactase. Students, aminopeptidase act on polypeptides and it forms dipeptides. That is, bigger molecule is converted to smaller molecule. Now, trypsin converts dipeptides to amino acids, which are the smallest part of proteins. The lipase converts fats to fatty acids and glycerol. The maltase converts maltose to glucose, which is the smallest part of carbohydrates. And lactase converts lactose to glucose and galactose. So in this way, bigger molecules are converted to smaller molecules. And then these smaller molecules can easily get absorbed in the bloodstream. I hope this video was helpful. If you like this video, please like, share, comment and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Wish you all the best.